What's up, everybody? In this video, I want to show you how I shoot my videos now and record my podcast. Now, I did some changing and do some things that kind of... I kind of hate being in the pattern, so I just kind of like to do things differently. So I kind of just do things to try to change things up and just don't want to get stuck getting caught in the pattern. First and foremost, I want to start with my, I guess, the main talking point video setup thing, I guess you want to call it. I don't know. But this setup is basically a professional style, low treated room, uh, you know, professionalized way of how I shoot my talking point videos and get my review videos. First, let's start off with, you know, the camera that I use. I'm actually using the A7 III. I got two of them. So I got one upstairs, one downstairs. Now the one in the basement has the teleprompter connected to it, not connected or hooked up to it, whatever. So in this, in that setup, it just allows me to kind of, you know, read off a script get more detail or more accurate point of view whenever I'm reviewing something, giving my details about some information that I got, things along those lines. So I have the gear slide teleprompter hooked up to it with my uh, A7 III on it. I don't take it off. I just leave it as set up. So when I'm ready to use it, I just pull it out from the side and just go from there and just, you know, line it up, put my script under there and then just line up the video, light up the video right. And then we go from there. Next up, I want to talk about this little thing that's always on the on my right child left you don't see it but it's mostly out of frame most of the time it's the this uh c stand i bought you know all black c stand like i've seen the silver ones and they just kind of like an eyesore to me so i had to go with all black but what this what this c stand allows me to do is allows me access to like overhead shots when i'm doing like a review video unboxing give me a little double you know shot here where i can do a fit um face on video and then like an overhead video to kind of get like a double perspective of you know my opinion and the product i'm talking about and also the c stands allows me to kind of use my uh i don't know what to call this hook thing but it's a hook that i use with this extension arm that my shotgun mic is hooked up to you know and what it, this is it's like an extended arm i've seen this on um a news station one time they was interviewing somebody they had like this arm and they could extend the mic out so nobody would you know get infected with covid at the time so i was like ah, i wonder where that's at and then i seen this on amazon it was like a combination of that uh shock mount and this hook thing for the c-stand so when i started using it, i said oh man this is great because the one i'm using right now is perfect the way i got it for overhead shots it was kind of like flanky and dimsley I don't know if these are the actual words that I'm using, but it was just kind of like flimsy in my opinion. It was real like, wasn't real way down top notch type thing because it could easily be knocked over. So that's little, that C stands allows me to do like, uh, like I said, overhead shots and using my um, shotgun mic with a shock mount on it where it's just out of the frame and just perfectly still. And it's well weighted when it comes to a C stand. C stands got a real amount of weight on them so you don't just topple over real quick. And I use these lights. I forgot the name of them. I got them years ago, but they do the job for the most part right now. I don't have like an aperture light or anything like that, but this allows me to have a light like right here, like the one I'm shooting and I have one downstairs. So when it comes to like one to shoot up in my room or shoot in the basement, I can do that. I ain't got to carry one light upstairs, one downstairs. So it's like I got two lights to kind of light up my face, or whatever I'm doing to kind of get the shot right and just, you know, get the lighting right. Depends on what I'm talking about or what the, um, like the not the idea but the basically the whole thing when it comes to whatever i'm talking about in that video i got the light to light it up right now when it comes to my audio interface that i've used downstairs i use a sound device mix pre 3 mark 2 it's the um three i think it's the four three channel four channel something like that but i got three xlr outputs and sound device mix pre 3s have like crazy preamps you could power a short SM7B without no extra cloud lift or nothing like that. It has 32-bit float recording. Like, it's top-notch when it comes to audio. So, definitely recommend that if you ever think about audio interface. Now, the table is a folded table I found at BJ's. And what I do is I put, like, a little gray cloth over it to make it seem like it's a solid table. So, you don't see that line in between it right down the middle. So, it's just, you know, a regular table that I just use. I could get, I'm going to get a better table when I get more of a uh, workspace to work out of. Right now, this does the job, and I can't really complain with it. Now, that's the pretty much the the more professionalized shooting video YouTube setup down there. Now, in my bedroom, I kind of made a makeshift area to kind of shoot videos in my bedroom because 
like I said before, I don't like being in a pattern. I like I kind of like doing things different and changing things up. So I decided to make it like a little makeshift shooting little area for my room. Right, right now I am shooting on another A7 III with a uh, Sigma 24 millimeter lens on it and a Manfrotto Manopod. Right, that's the camera stand and everything works perfectly. Now I have this shotgun mic stand. Don't know what it's called. I'll leave a link in the description below to kind of give you a description of it. But I used it. This shotgun mount is the Rode NTG2. Now, the one I use downstairs is the Sennheiser MKE 600. So I got two of them. So this allows me to kind of do the same thing. Mic's out of the shot. Not really in my frame and nothing like that. Because that's always been my gripe with some videos. When it comes to like a, a talking point video like this and guys got microphones in their face or anything in their face. It's kind of like distracting to me. So I kind of just like have you focus on me. So I don't, you don't see the microphone. You just see me talking, giving my points of view or whatever I'm talking about. That's just me. Like, I feel like microphones and other things in, in the way just kind of very distracting. So I kind of limit that. So like I said, with this mic stand, I'm using that. I'll find it out in the description and leave it in the description below. Uh, Shotgun NTG2 mic. And what I'm recording audio to is a Zoom H6. Right. Very versatile. Like it's not the not a mix it's not the mix pre three, nothing like that, but solid um fill recorder, fifty five gig uh fifty five D B of gain. You know, if you need a uh, cloud lift you can use them with that. But um Phantom Power, S D cards, uh one of the reasons why I like it because it has a color screen on it. So if I'm clipping or going over, I understand, I like I can see that here. I kind of hate ones that don't have no color to it because you can, yeah, you get the idea that it's clipping, but I'm more of a color person. So I, when I see it's getting to the red or the yellow, high yellows, I know I'm clipping. So getting close to clipping. So that's why I kind of like this color screen with this uh, Zoom H6. And again, I have, like I said, I have a light here. Don't know the name of it, but I got a little soft box here and it kind of lights me up while I shoot these type of videos. So that's what it's going to be for now on for a while until I want to do something different like i have a setup downstairs where i can you know more treated more you know acoustic sound room for recording it, uh, audio and video this is kind of like something like maybe i don't feel like going downstairs i'm gonna shoot a video right here i can just pull these little things out and shoot a video that's kind of like something i wanted and like i said i don't want to get caught in just doing the same thing over and over again i like to do things differently and change things up so this is a change out for me now when it comes to shooting video i'm kind of same way with podcasting now when i record my podcast i can record it in the basement as well same similar setup no lights i don't record i ain't, i don't have video to my podcast yet but once things line up right i eventually will right now the podcast is only audio right now which i kind of like for right now because i don't gotta look a certain way to be on camera so it's kind of you know makes it easier for me but i pull out my zoom PyTrack p8 my short sm7b plug it in and record a podcast call in a guest and things like that now uh but that's the simple you know set up in the basement for me because i don't have guests over because you know covid's still rampant so you know it's just being safe so if i want to call somebody in i can do that all those type of things and i got so many different audio recorders to record podcasts sometimes i change that up too like sometimes I'll go in the kitchen area, right? Report recording podcast the same way. Pull out my short SM7B. I might use the Zoom PyTrack P8, or I might use the Realcaster Pro. <laughs> like it's just depending on what type of time or what type of feel I'm on that day, where I just want to change things up. But I have realized the thing I prefer the most is a limited amount of stuff in the area, like the PyTrack P8, my laptop to the right or to the left of me, wherever I put it. And just recording a podcast, going over my notes, show notes, questions I got for anybody who comes on the show, things like that. So I try to limit as much access, obsessive amount of stuff around me when I record a podcast. So I just wanted to limit it to anything, as small amount of stuff as possible. So I went through this phase of boom arms and should I get a, a table stand arm? You know, then you just kind of figure out like what just makes it more simple. So I use this gator works weighted table stand love it <laughs> just love it that's all like i say i definitely recommend getting one it's one of the best out there get one so as you can see like even in my bedroom i might pull out the pie track p4 i got a little short sm7 being the corner right there and curtains and stuff to kind of help with the uh 
you know, echoey in this room sometimes. So record a podcast, simple and easy, just like that. So I have like three locations for podcasts, my bedroom, the kitchen, and the basement. Depending on how I feel, I'll be in the basement. You know, I got the big screen TV, kind of watch something along the way as I record a podcast or I'm in the kitchen, my favorite part, my favorite area in my whole house. Don't ask. Like being in the kitchen. Very like a comfort zone for me. Prefer the kitchen. And sometimes in the bedroom. So as you can see in this video, I got so many different options that I could use to kind of do what I need to do and get my workflow going, just get in my comfort zone, my comfy space, and just find a place that makes me happy to help me to create content in all in every way fashion. And that's and the one thing about that is like one thing I appreciate is that I like creating content because it gives me a little happy space to kind of get away from my everyday life. You know what I mean? Like working, paying bills, those type of things. But this little corner that I've created in my basement in my bedroom allows me to kind of get to a happy place and just have fun creating things and coming up with new ideas to be creative and just make the best content that I can. And that's pretty much it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit that like, subscribe button, hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever a video comes out. Um, once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.